Welcome to the Michigan Runner Show. Join us each time as we explore the people, the places, and the events that shape our great sport. You know, the Army has always told me to be tough, you know. It's, uh, it's like I was going for war today, you know. I was prepared, I was ready with my tactics, and uh, I'm happy about it. I wanted to make it an honest race. I wanted it to be a good race today. You know? What was the reasoning instead of uh, setting case? Uh, uh, I wanted to test myself to rim limits, you know. As I as I told you in the pre-classic, I wasn't happy with my performance. You know, I wasn't happy, really happy, and uh, I wanted a race to just test myself again and see where I was and see how where my fitness is, you know. Like today running 1308 solo, you know, it's, it's, it's good. I, I, know, I know something, right? That tells me I'm stronger than when I was in pre because I was able to run 13.10 with a huge group, but now I was able to run 13.08 by myself. You were like saluting before even the final lap. Did you feel easy doing this 13.08? Yeah, I felt, uh, it didn't feel that easy, you know, but uh, definitely I was relaxed, you know. I wasn't having a lot of pressures and people pushing me and everything. I was all relaxed and focused on the pace and tried my best to open the gap, you know. I was, uh, I was trying to test, you know, and see like uh, how everything is gonna go, like the first lap, and see if everybody's anybody's gonna react, you know. And uh, surprisingly, I find myself I found myself running a 60 second fast lap, and I was like, all right, it's time to go, you know. I wasn't I wasn't ready to I wasn't ready to look back again. Just uh, just keep pushing. I'm really really looking forward into that, you know. That's my big goal. Definitely. The approach you've taken, you ran the same style of race indoors as well. I mean, why do you start doing that this year? Because last year, I mean, you were so medalist and you weren't really running those kind of races. Why start doing it? Is that something you would do internationally as well? Uh, it's something I'm trying to test. I'm trying to do something. I'm trying to test and see what, what my body can do. You know, it's, before you do something in a championship, you have to try, you know. You have to test your body and, and train for it. And uh, this is really good for me, you know. And every time I watch uh, the fits out there and all the fans are complaining, you know. We are tired of sitting kick races every day, you know. And today I just, I just, I hope I made them happy today. I gave them what they wanted because I was, I know I could make the team use those sit and kick race, but I just want to make it fast, you know. Do you feel that that is the way to beat Mo Farah? Mofar is a really strong guy. Mofar is a little racer, and uh, <coughs> I gotta be strong. I gotta be really strong, you know. And uh, I'm preparing for it. And as I said before, I'm not looking at anyone. I'm just trying to make myself better, you know. They stop your 2020. Mofar won't be there. There has to be somebody who wants to be there to to lead the races and everything. And uh, I'm trying to teach myself. I'm trying to learn something and. Uh, Hopefully, hopefully I'll, I'll uh, get gold in London or maybe take over to You've got the American flag now, but you've also got the British flag. Why are you flying the British flag? Uh, I think it means I'm, I'm London bound, you know? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah that's bound, that's London bound. Going to London. <laughs> yeah, road yeah. to London. It's yeah. over. Now I'm, I'm, I'm already in it, you know? So yeah. Oh, that's were what you, it means. Were you delivering a message with your last kilometer? In other words, you didn't have to run that fast, but you did. Are you delivering a message to your competitors around the world? Yes, I was, uh, that's to mean I'm really strong. I'm ready, I'm ready to go out there and do my thing, you know. I'm really happy, you know. The US Army has been there for me always. They've been there for me every day. They've believed in me. They've taught me how to be a tough soldier, you know. And uh, whatever whatever would happen today, that's what that, that's what this, this determines and that's what describes me, you know. I'm a soldier. I'm physically and mentally tough. The Army has always taught me to do that, and uh, it came out today clear. You know, I was able to run a fast pace and still remember U.S. Army in salute in the middle of the race. That's really, that tells a lot. Could you tell us, please, about your relationship with your coach, with Coach Sean? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what would you like to say to him? <laughs> I really want to say thank you to Scott Sims, you know. Scott Sims is a coach who has always believed in me. You know, he tells me, to, he walks with me, you know, we walk together. Whatever I say, whatever I tell him, like, if I don't feel good today, he walks with me. He doesn't want to force me to do what I don't want to do. All he does is walk with me, and and that's really good. I mean, it's like a father figure to me. It's not that's just a coach, but a father figure to me, because Scott Sims motivates me. Scott Sims is, 
he also helps the other teammates, you know, we work together a lot and uh, it really means a lot to me and I'm happy with working with Cassim, so that's why I'm able to come into a race today and, and push from the beginning because he's taught me that confidence, you know. Yeah. At, at this young age, Hill, third place, 5,000 meter run.